made for a purpose. And we human beings are created for a purpose. Now we will not, we will not be in a good state unless we fulfill that purpose. Now a chair is made to be sit on. What is the best thing a chair is used for? Sitting. What is the best thing a pen is used for? Writing. Some people use a chair for something else. Some people, yes. Some people use a pen probably to pick their nose or do something else. But that's not the right use of it. And the, you are created to worship. So what's the best thing you do? Worship. It's the same thing. Now, inshallah, today we we'll want to break, think outside of the box. We want to approach the issue of worship and see how human it is. It is a very natural principle or concept that you do subconsciously throughout your life. Throughout your life. Do you know the, the, one of the opening du'as for the salah? That is also a similar version is narrated in Surat or is mentioned in Surat Al An'am. Who knows the du'a al istiftah? How many versions you know when you start your prayer? Yes. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik, ashadu la ilaha anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Okay, what, other, what are another du'a is? Yes, what's the beginning of it? Someone said, someone said the right. وَجَّهْتُ وَجْهِيَ لِلَّذِي فَطَرَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ حَنِيفًا وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ I have directed my face to the one who created, originated the heavens and the earth, and I'm not from those who commit shirk. إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Now my prayers, my sacrifice, all my acts of worship, my life and my death are for Allah alone. Now, if your life is not for Allah, it's going to be to, some, to someone else. If it's not for Allah, it will be for someone else. So, humans are created to what? To worship. So, inevitably, you're going to worship. If you don't worship Allah, you will end up worshipping something else. That's an equation that can never be broken. If you don't worship Allah, you will worship something else or someone else. And if you worship Allah because this is what you're created for, everything in your life will be in a state of balance. And you can feel it on a daily basis. You can, deal, you can feel it with everything you do. But if you don't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, everything will fall out of place. Everything will fall out of place. And this is why people have so many psychological problems. They have family problems. They have identity problems. You know, we have a plethora of problems that we face on a daily basis as Muslim, even as, as Muslim communities in the West. One of the greatest of them among the youth is an identity problem, yes? They say our, our youth have an identity crisis. There are so many psychological problems, problems in marriage, problems in, in, in profession, in studies, drugs, alcohol, gang life, and all that stuff. You know, in Islam, if you fix the central thing in your life, all these problems will just disappear automatically. You don't have to deal with them on a, on a, uh, on individually or take them separately. So this is what the f belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means. We are created to worship Allah. So this belief in Allah gives you direction, gives you focus. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ says a beautiful, there's a beautiful hadith. He says, whoever makes this life his main concern من جعل الدنيا همه فرق الله عليه أمره. The one who makes this life his main concern. You know, when, when you talk about main concern, main focus, that's worship. That's worship. Worship is direction. Worship is dedication. Worship is your ultimate goal. Just put it simply in, in everyday language. Worship is your ultimate goal in life. What is your ultimate goal? What's your dream in life? That's your worship. That's it. It's as simple as that, something all of, all of us do. Even the non-Muslims, even the atheists, the agnostic, the people who claim to have no religion, they have a religion. They worship. They worship something. They have an ultimate goal that all their actions, all activities in their lives are directed to that. Because this is how we are created, this is how we are designed. We cannot live without that. We all, we all need a direction where all our efforts, all our activities, all our thoughts are directed into. 
Now, if you don't make this for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as I said, you will make it to something else. Now, coming back to the hadith, the one who makes this life his main concern, because this life doesn't have, if you chase the different pleasures, does not have a unified theme. So it's scattered. You need money, you want family, you want success, you want education, you want happiness, you want fun, you want different things. Apparently, these things are scattered, but in reality, there is one theme. If you capture it, that's the worship of Allah. If you capture it, these things will just come in your way, will naturally be inclined to you. You will become like a magnetic, you have a magnetic field, all of these things will come to you. The hadith is a clear statement on this. So whoever makes this life his main concern, Allah will increase his worries and make them even more. So you'll start to have so many concerns. I have a problem here, a family problem, problem at work, problem in my education. I have to pay the bills, I have financial problems, I have problems in my community. There are so many things you chase here and there and people get swamped. That's the reality. So if you make this life your main concern, what happens, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase your worries and will make them dispersed. So they will be a huge variety of concerns. So you will be lost. And he will not get of this world except what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wrote for him. That's it. You will end up, despite your, your craving, you will end up basically getting what Allah wrote for you. On the other hand, The one who makes the last day his main concern, meaning that he f he's focused on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's focused on the worship of Allah in this life because he knows what it means. The one who makes the last day his main concern, جَمَعَ اللَّهُ لَهُ أَمْرَهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will eliminate all the worries that he has and will make his concern one. Allah will bring down his concerns to only one. So you only have one thing to worry about. Imagine your whole life, you only have to worry and observe one thing. You don't have to catch up with different stuff here and there, no. You only have one thing to do and you're always focused. And this is where personal integrity, personal power comes into play. وَمَنْ جَعَلَ الْآخِرَةَ هَمَّهُ جَمَعَ اللَّهُ لَهُ أَمْرَهُ وَجَعَلَ غِنَاهُ فِي قَلْبِهُ And Allah made a sense of richness in his heart. So he's always content. Why? Because he sees or he looks at things outside of that box. He looks at the reality of things. So وَجَعَلَ اللَّهُ غِنَاهُ فِي قَلْبِهُ His richness will be in his heart. Even if he's poor, he's content. He, he has what he needs. All the things he dreams of, he has that. So he doesn't, like his, his, his goals and his, his worries, his, con his concerns are not all around the place. He has them within himself. And this life with all its pleasures, with all its beauty, with all its potential, will place itself and yield itself before him. That's a promise from the Prophet ﷺ. So the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is basically about focus. Ask any successful person on this earth, how did they make it? They will tell you that we had a goal, we made it our ultimate goal, we directed all our efforts, all our resources to that goal, and we made everything necessary for the achievement of that goal, and we made it. You have many people, they start, for example, seeking knowledge, studying, and they pick up a book, they read about five pages, sometimes 50, 100 pages. Then another book appeals to them. They say, okay, let me see what this book has for me. So he picks up another book and leaves the first one and so on and so forth. These people end up with no knowledge whatsoever. Why? Because they lost focus. Students do the same thing. Like you go to college, you go to university. What is university meant for? For you to study and get a degree. Now many people Get, get lost in different stuff, okay? Some people start to have a boyfriend, girlfriend, they find a clique or a friend, or some, a group of friends, they take them into a different route. Now these people got caught up in, uh, in some, uh, or they, they, they lost their focus of the ultimate goal or the main reason, the main purpose for them going to university. Now many people do the same in this life. Instead of just worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 